Hi guys, Frasne, welcome back to another episode of Knights of Dragons. Today we are going to talk about the best ladder bearer raid. So I'm not sure what this girl actually is. She looks like a German something, you know, somebody that works in the fields over there. I, I'm not sure why I think she's German. It's, it's a fire air raid and as you can see Imperial Eternal, otherwise known as... Uh, I don't, I don't know, it was a fire water dragon fortune, now it's called Imperial Eternal. I think it's Imperial Shadow Plate or whatever the original name was. So the milestones are still... Almost the same. I'm already almost at 4 million. I'm doing 150k on average. Uh, just, uh, I'm just pushing on level 2s myself. Don't you dare and judge me on that. This, the armors I am using... This... I'm still using epics, yes. Because I'm a free-to-play player and I'm not a... I'm not a jammer, you know? Even... And of course, when I'm on a run, I start jamming. So keep in mind, I have not seen the ribbons yet. So, I'm going to talk about them as a first start, like literally a first start. So let's just start, like, what else do we have here? We, so we got the Mask of the Lantern, Guild, Gelded Skill Game, Mask of Salem, Ash and Fire, Dragonborn, plus, it's, that's, that's a huge one. So we got a Firestorm, and I'm currently in. We got Judges, Plague Mill, Centauric, Blowing Smoke Mill. All right, so this one is actually a really nice armor. I'm, I remember <laughs> when I did the video on the Be Beware of Smokestacks. Because it, it just said beware of smoke sex on the title there. So we got, uh, how do you say this? Molten ropes. We got King's Combat. I thought there was an extra tier, but uh, wow, I'm I'm just a little bit amazed. I, I thought there was something different, but there wasn't. My mind is literally going all places right now. So we got molten ropes. They all have a set now, and I see it. And I already have the set, so I should have gone top thirty, but. I don't have that, so who okay. cares? So we got Imperial Eternal, it looks meh ish. It, I, I think the original armor was better, you know, it, it looks nice. more. In, it looks more nice, to be honest. And King's Combat Gear plus meh. It, I should have gone with King's Combat Gear in top 50 and Belowing Smoke Mill plus in top 15, but I think that is just a little bit too overpowered as of now because this thing already has like 5500 on stats. And Molten Ropes already has 5,700 on stats. And this thing has 6k, so I think this thing has like 6,300, so that, that'll be a little bit too much of a gap for a Gri or a Funzio or whatever. I'm, I'm not sure. It's, people say that Funzio bought over Gri and uh, Funzio are actually the developers of the game now, but I'm not sure because uh, there's, there's no real proof behind it just yet. So yeah, and people are waiting for when like... Uh, the, the ribbons will change again, like maybe top 75 will become a drag of fortune, some, uh, some things like that, because maybe, uh, you know, you don't know what Gree is going to do in a year, maybe they will be like ultra shadow forged, uh, beastly, manly armors, and, you know, maybe you will see those tiers in, a, in maybe a year from now, you know, and then top 75 will be shadow forged and top 500 will be drag of fortune, who knows, you know, you never know where a game is going. Well, I know it's going down as of now with uh, Knights of Dragons. I can guarantee you guys that. So let me know what you guys actually think about these things. Like, did, did they have to switch King Combat Game Blowing Smoke Mill? But I personally think it's too overpowered. So, but I really like the fact that they actually put Blowing Smoke Mill in top 50. That, that I can say what it is. So, guys, hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode here. Leave a like if you did, and I hope to see you all again next time.